Given the functions f of x, g of x, m of x, and n of x, find each composite function. Set up the workspace. Rewrite g of m of n of x using regular function notation. Replace n of x with x plus 2. Before we can continue, we need to evaluate m at x plus 2. We know that m of x equals the absolute value of x. So m at x plus 2 equals the absolute value of x plus 2. In our main work area, we now have g at the absolute value of x plus 2. Before we can continue, we need to evaluate g at the absolute value of x plus 2. We know that g of x equals 1 over x. So g at the absolute value of x plus 2 equals 1 over the absolute value of x plus 2. The composite function is h of x equals 1 over the absolute value of x plus 2. In part b, we'll find h of x equals n of f of n of x. Set up the workspace. We write n of f of n of x using regular function notation. Replace n of x with x plus 2. Before we can continue, we need to evaluate f at x plus 2. We know that f of x equals the square root of x. So f at x plus 2 equals the square root of x plus 2. In our main work area, we now have n at the square root of x plus 2. Before we can continue, we need to evaluate n at the square root of x plus 2. We know that n of x equals x plus 2. So n at the square root of x plus 2 equals the square root of x plus 2 plus 2. The composite function is h of x equals the square root of x plus 2 plus 2.